During the plague of darkness in the land of Egypt, the verse tells us, One man could not see his brother, could not see his neighbor. That's how dark and that's how thick it was. But for the Jewish community living in Goshen, it was very different. The verse says, Hayaor, there was light for the Jewish community. There's a beautiful insight with regards to these verses. What is a sign of darkness? What is a sign of negativity? When one man can't see his brother. When we are not sensitive, when we are not aware or caring for the needs of the other, that is a sign of darkness. That is a sign of negativity. But the truth is, it's not the Jewish way. It's not the Torah way. As the verse says that for the, for the Jewish community, higher or there was light. Because we are sensitive, and we are aware, and we are caring for the needs of the other. That's why in our davening, in our prayers, we daven in the plural. For example, in the Amidah, in the Shemona Esrei, we say, Refa'einu, heal us. Baruch Aleinu, bring blessings upon us. Why are we davening in the plural? Because when I pray, I don't just pray for myself. I have the other person, my neighbor, my friend, in mind as well. If I know someone needs to be healed, I have them in mind. If I know someone else that needs a job, I have them in mind too. The Jewish community is compared to a body. When one limb is in pain, the entire body fills that pain. When one member of the community is in need, is going through challenges, the entire community is aware and sensitive and caring for the needs of the other. That is a sign of a healthy community. That is a sign of a community that has or that has light. And that is a sign of a community in which God wants to dwell. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.